How you doing? Welcome back. This is Rick with Winders Ranger. Probably one of the most asked questions I get on my YouTube channel is what type of motor is inside the Wall Elite Pro? And to answer that, I have no idea. So I figured today what we're going to do is we're going to take this apart today together and uh, we're going to take a look inside and see what we see. My bet is that there's not going to be any kind of labeling or anything in there to actually definitively tell us if this is a, a V5000 or 9000 or exactly what's in there. But uh, if nothing else, we can take the lid off and, and see what, uh, what's going on inside and what it, take, what it looks like. Uh, one of the other questions that I get a lot about is, with this, with the Elite Pro, is does it get hot when I'm using it? Uh, this is only for my own personal use. And like I've said in other videos, I only cut my hair about uh, once every four or five days, maybe seven days or something like that, once a week, twice a week, give or take a little bit. For me, cutting my hair when I'm using this particular clipper, only actually using it for 10 or 15 minutes, 20 minutes at the most. So it's not really a, a good comparison necessarily to a professional use because I'm not cutting hair. This, this isn't running off and on all day long. It's it's only just for a short time. For me, I really don't notice it to be honest. I would imagine it does get a little warm, you know, just a, a warm feeling to the touch, but it's by no means does it get hot. Now if you were to use it for longer periods of time throughout the day, I really couldn't answer that. Um, next time I cut my hair, I'll, I'll, I'll try to use it or leave it running a little bit longer and see if we can answer that question for you. But with that said, let's get into this thing and uh, see what we see. So to get inside, all there really is to it is uh, these two screws here on the back, on the on the on the tail end. You loosen both of these screws up, and be careful they don't uh, go flying out on you and you lose them. But the top basically lifts off, and as it lifts off, there's a, a a latch or a, um, a catch on the front. Uh, see, I had that other screw in there. And uh, basically, you just kind of lift up and push forward. And you can see that, that catch on the front. It grabs inside there, and that's what holds the front on and just pulls right off. Now, inside, of course, it's a plastic case, the, uh, the outer portion. Um, the bottom portion of this is a is a lot sturdier plastic than what the top is. The top is just a a cheap plastic shell, nothing too terribly fancy. But uh, on the inside, let's see if we can see uh, anything that gives us any indication of what kind of motor this is. It's got the wall logo here on the one side. I don't really see any kind of markings at all on this motor. It's probably a good reason for that, I would imagine, given all the questions that I've had on what type of motor it is. But based on several of the videos that I've seen, where people are talking about the different motors, comparing um, the different types of uh, wall clippers, one of them, I think, the guy was uh, talking about the innards of a... The wall magic clipper I think it was and I forget the other two models but based on what I saw in his video and and it's difficult to compare this to that because you know I, I don't have them side by side I would venture to say this is probably a v5000 maybe the 9000 but doesn't look to me like there's enough coil copper coil in there to match what I saw in his video to be the 9000 I could be wrong I certainly don't know exactly what uh, the 9000 would look like compared to this. That's just my personal opinion based on what I've seen in his video and what I see here. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to get out one of my older clippers. It was uh, a cheap Walmart purchase that I, uh, I picked up, oh, probably 10 years ago. And uh, we'll pull the lid off of that one and compare it to what we see here. We've got the lid off of the older wall. I believe this was the D case, I think is what the name of it was. I, uh, and I, I misspoke earlier. It wasn't a Walmart purchase. It was, um, it, it may as well have been. It was another chain store that, uh, that I picked it up at. And uh, it's been 
been close to 10 years ago now, I guess, that I bought these. Um, I, I, they, they haven't seen much use. I, I very rarely use them because of the way the, uh, the, tripper, the, the clipper head is not adjustable. And um, the times that I've used them, they seem like they're a little bit more aggressive. And it's easier to make a mistake with these, especially doing the type of haircut that I do with the uh, flat top. I've caused more issues using these than I have with other ones, so I, I tend not to use them that often. But uh, if we're looking at the motor, let's try to get them as close side by side as we can. They look like they're pretty similar to me um, as far as the, uh, the copper windings. The older one might actually have a little bit more copper winding in it than the Wall Elite Pro, but overall, with the difference of maybe 10 years in uh, technology or whatever advancements wall has done over the last 10 years they really look pretty similar the coating on the copper wire of course is a little bit different overall i would have to say it's pretty similar now let's see if this one has any markings on it let's try not to lose the power switch um No, but what I do notice is it doesn't have the wall stamp on the side like this one does. And that's kind of interesting, but I guess that's really neither here nor there. Yeah, I don't see any markings on that one either. I guess wall doesn't count on somebody taking their, their clippers apart and examining their motors to see... Uh, what type of motors and what type of clipper and if there's a pr proprietary design there I guess they wouldn't want somebody to know exactly what it is anyway in any case um, what have we learned here I wish I could say for sure what this motor was in the the wall elite pro I'll do a little bit more research and if I come up with any new information I'll put that in the description down below I'm gonna go with I think that's probably a v5000 could be the 9000, but again, like I said, I, I don't have one to compare it to, so it's difficult to say for sure. So in any case, I appreciate you watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for new videos. We'll see you all in the next video.